You definitely can. I thought that... Uh, oh, Jesus. Okay, that one did... I forgot about that. That was a forget one. Cool. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sarah is Missing. This is episode three, but it's not the first episode three. This episode I already recorded, and I edited it, I even exported it, so the finished episode in all of its glory was done, it was sitting on my hard drive, but I was leaving, so I didn't bother uploading it, because I was coming here to do more recording, and I don't have Wi-Fi here, so I figured I would wait, but when I got to record, I was like, hey, I'll free up some space, I've finished with Sarah is missing, I don't need to do this anymore. I can delete the folder because it's done. It's a finished product. But since it was, you know, big files, it was too big to go to the recycling bin. I had to permanently delete it so I couldn't get it back. I tried a data recovery tool and it didn't work, so whatever. I just decided I would film it again. This is the finale. This is the last episode. It might actually not be that long. Um, when I did it the first time, it was like 20 minutes in instead of 30 and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'll try. I, I want to show you everything, so I'm going to try not to, like, blow through it, even though I know everything. Um, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so I got back to the point we were at. Uh, if you remember, James died. We kind of, um, we, we tried to save him. We sent the message, the image of the Red Room, the, the video to Derek. Derek asshole, I remember him. Uh, I, well, you do, because you just watched the video. But for me, it was a while ago. Um... And now Irizu has killed James and is messaging us. Okay, so he says, Hello there, it is me again. I apologize for not introducing myself. How rude of me. What do you want? I don't remember what voices I did because it's been so long. It was three days. It, I, I literally did all those like a couple days ago, but because I'm recording so much, it feels like it was years ago. Uh, your appearance was not expected, but here you are nonetheless. My name is Irizu. I am one of the... How do you say leaders for tonight's ceremony? <laughs> Don't ask where my accent went a second ago. Uh, we have met on a very fortunate night. I should hope so. Cherish this moment, my stranger friend. What do you mean stranger? You are definitely the stranger one here. That's... Are you fucking crazy? You just killed someone. Me? Kill? Never. Do not take me as a lowly murderer. Please do not misunderstand my intentions. Then, why? Damn it, I had a funny joke in the last one, but it involves choosing the third one. Ignore this. It said, I'm gonna tell the joke again. The last one said, did he have it coming? And I said, did, did he deserve it? it wait, he had it coming. He, oh, did he only have himself to blame? If I'd have been there, if I'd have seen it, would you have bet that I would have done the same? That was the joke. See how funny it was? Anyway, as I said before, I do not kill. And that man, he was anything but poor. He was a deceiver. What do you mean? What do you, what do you, what do you do? How so? I don't remember the, why he's a deceiver, though. Uh, yeah, oh, right, this is why. You will never be privy to that information, my young friend. Nor will you need it to further your... Quest. What the hell is this guy? I don't know what this guy's on about. What are you talking about? This is a great thing to kick the desk over. Uh, where are my manners? I have told you my name, but not what I do. I fear that my age has somewhat dulled me to these simple talk. Small talk, as you call it. But it does not matter what I do. It What matters for you to know, my young friend, is that you, like everything else in this world, you have a choice. I kind of been doing a Michael Caine thing all of a sudden. I am here to offer you a voice. <laughs> I'm just, it's its just like dropping off the first part of every word. Then why should I listen to you? <clears throat> he says, well, I'm Batman. Tom is of the essence, not reason. It's not, <laughs> it's not just your essence. It's your father's essence. This is great. I love this, actually. Okay, what are you offering? I'd love to know. Hit me, hit me. Give it to me. Lay it on me. Uh, ah, now you understand. You must ask the right questions. The choice is simple. Yet yeah, not. All right, I'm listening. This is pretty much messed up, I gotta say. Uh, a, a, a leap. <laughs> a leap of faith. That's another joke that I made in the last one. Damn it, that was such a good episode, too. Uh, okay, a leap of faith. We are almost out of time. So, here it is. Would you like to join us? I believe you have the potential. It is rare for me to offer this to someone who is uninitiated. 
Yes or no? Simple, yet not. So I think I could just say no right now. Done. Take that. What if life itself was in the balance, Master Bruce? Say these two young, ravishing women. Oh, look at this. All right, so this is Sarah and Faith. That's both of them. You choose between them who lives to see the sunrise tomorrow. Didn't you just say you are not a killer? He's doing some real jigsaw shit that I don't appreciate. He's all like, I'm not killing him. It's not me. You're the one making the choice, man. Okay, but like you're going to kill one of them, though. Like, fine, but you're going to kill. Okay, uh, but I do not. It is not my choice. Sacrifice is not the act of pure destruction. It is merely a transformation. Life is perpetual. I leave it up to you. God himself makes these decisions all the time. Does he not? Why not ease some of the work for him or her or it? However you see your God. Let's talk about this. Let's really get into the gender of God in this life or death situation. Sarah or Faith, their names mean nothing to you, but to us, they are what binds them to this flesh and mud. Say one of their names and know that it will be their last breath. There's no sweeter invite than a last breath to welcome you. One passes and another comes. What say you? Why me? That's what I say. Alright, so he's making us choose. Why? <clears throat> uh, why not? <laughs> Because it's fun. Yes, it is fun. I was right. Uh, okay, since you are here anyway. Here we go. Why not choose? Uh, everything in life is a choice. Whether you join us or not, it makes no difference. Well, then why the hell do you care? Just leave me alone then. Yes, no. Sarah Faith. You have ten seconds. Uh, so we want to... S we choose whoever whoever's name we want to die. So obviously, Faith. Uh, one. Th I'm not going to go through every ending, but I will... Go back and choose the other one just to see what happens. If you don't choose in 10 seconds, uh, Iris chooses Faith for you. So you send the message Faith. I didn't know uh, what was going on, but Faith is chosen. Oh, I mean, ah, what's happening? Is how I was reacting the first time because th I don't know what's going on. Faith died. Uh, the deed is done. Welcome, my child. You are indeed a rare being. Answer me this. Why did you choose Faith? Uh, well, there's no option to say I'm trying to save Sarah, which is the real answer. Um, so I, it just, it's all meaningless in the end. It's really, it's nihilism. It may seem meaningless for now, but life has much meaning as we put into it. Come now to these coordinates. These coordinates, I spent some time looking this up. I'm not going to do that this time. Essentially, this is a real place. Obviously, it's coordinates. That's a real place on Earth. But um, it seems to be in Malaysia. And at the time, I couldn't... Because I don't have a really good... I don't have any Wi-Fi here. I was using my phone to connect to a hotspot. Which, again, I don't even have a good reception down here. So I was like, trying to get it to work. It was very funny. Uh, it just seemed to be a forest. I couldn't really make out anything. I tried to do, like, the, the street view where you, like, drop the little peg down, but it wasn't working because it was the middle of nowhere. I've heard other people say online that it's, like, a hotel. Um, so, I don't know. But it's a real place. It's in Malaysia, which the team that uh, worked on this game is from Malaysia. Uh, so, that's that's very that's very cool and creepy. Uh, but that's all Iruzu says. Iris. I, I, oh, hold on. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Iris says, it's a tough choice. Oh, oh, oh. So I want to say, I want to say, well, I'll, I'll say in a minute, but it had to be done. All right. Sarah seems too much to me. Sarah means too much to me. It hurts to see Faith go. Sarah knew Faith for the longest. Uh, I hope Faith doesn't mind. Well, Faith's dead. I'm sure she's not really feeling a lot of uh, emotions right now. Death is the wish of some, the relief of many, and the end of all. Oh, are you a poet now? At least Sarah is okay. We need to find her quick. Done. Oh, here we go. Okay. And then Iris just goes off the freaking deep end here. Watch this. Watch this. Are you watching? I hope you're watching. Ah, you've made it this far. Too bad you won't make it much further, but know that you have now become part of something much larger. All will be revealed in due time, but not this instant. Uh, any last words as you, so, as you humans are so fond of leaving words behind? Uh, and then you don't really get any good last words. I don't know what Iris is going on about. I don't know why this sudden shift of like, well, I'm going to kill you or something. Uh, I'm awestruck. And then whatever you choose, it sh says something different. Like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's Owen Wilson. Whatever. It's not that I don't love our little chats. It's just I don't love them, which is very funny. I like this ending line, but I don't get it. And then this happens. Here, this happens. Wait for it. Wait, there it is. 
It's sarahismissing.com. Again, I don't have any internet, so whatever, but... Okay, and then the game starts over, I believe. I don't remember. Does it start from the very beginning? It does. It starts from the very beginning. So, that's the game. I do... I do want to go back and uh, just do the bit where we choose, because I don't remember what happens when you choose Sarah instead. You definitely can. I thought that... uh, Oh, Jesus. Okay, that one did. I forgot about that. That was a forget one. Cool. But yeah, Iris... So, the thing is, I, I... I heard about this game from the Nightmind channel. Nick Nocturne, Nightmind, uh, he talked about this game and then Simulacra, the next one, which I've already played. And though he he pointed out a lot of stuff about this game that I didn't really know. So all of those images from the first video, the one that freaked me out so badly, all of those are also public, well, not public domain, but like they're, they're images that everybody knows. Um, like the weird smile one, and, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff. They even, in the itch.io page, which by the way, that Sarah is missing was just a, a redirect to that, was um, all of the, the, listed on there. They were, they were listed on there as references, whatever, description. There's a word I can't think of, but it doesn't matter. Uh, but they were all listed, so it's not like... It, it, it takes away a lot of the fear, and he was pretty critical of this game, uh, talking about it, and he brought up a lot of good points. Like, when I got that video, the video that freaked me out, I was talking to James, or rather, um, Sarah was, and it was nighttime. It was like this night, the 3rd of April, and at the same time... She was supposed to be doing this right now, but she was talking, like, all silly with him, like, oh, James, you're such a goof, so not very, like, super, uh, I don't, I don't know, it, it, there's a lot of interesting things to talk about, but one thing that he pointed out was there, it, it's very possible that Iris is being controlled by Irizu, and if you look at the words in Irizu, it's I-R-I and then Z, which is very close to Iris, <laughs> or Iris, so maybe it's Irizu, which would be funny. Um, so, all of that to say that the, it, it's really made me not be as scared of this game, <laughs> just realizing that, oh, all those images were, like, public things, even though it is still very creepy, even, like, when I watch it coming up now, I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna take my headphones out and not be looking at the screen, because, uh, it is very creepy, but, so, that's, that's a lens of looking at all of this conversation that I'm having with Iris now about how... It's probably Irizu leading me to make the choice with uh, Sarah or Faith. So, all of that to say, I am excited to. Uh, I mean, I'm excited to be done with this. I, I thought that I was done. I, I enjoyed it a lot when I played it. I still enjoy it. I think it's really cool. I actually think I like this game, uh, Sarah's Missing, more than Simulacra. There's something just so rudimentary about it that makes it feel a lot more, um, a lot more like a creepy pasta. It feels so like you. You you stumbled when you're playing this game. It feels like you've stumbled upon something that that you uh, wouldn't that you, you don't want to have stumbled upon. Like it it seems a little dangerous, and that's always been my favorite aspect of like creepypasta or online horror and mystery. Just the idea of like, oh, this is what you're holding now is a problem, and get away from it. And that's always like any kind of creepy videos or web series, anything that I think is like dangerous a little bit. I'm into it, so. Uh, that's kind of how I feel about this. Simulacra feels just like a horror game, uh, which I, I still like it a lot. It's, it's a lot of fun and interesting, and I, I think it's a unique idea and everything. But ultimately, I think this is a lot stronger of a, of a, just I what they're going for. I think it's a lot stronger here, even if it is really sloppy. Also, in the uh, in the Nightmind video, he pointed out when we we're talking with I think it's Buddy down here, right? Uh, 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 in his video, he says that. Uh, this is Sarah talking to Buddy, and uh, Buddy asks what her thesis is about, and he, she says, do you really want to know? He says, yeah, sure, and then in his version, these two lines, I'm doing a research and how it transcends, blah, 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 are actually on the left, and they're blue, and they're Buddy's lines. So I think that was like a glitch, and when he played it and was recording his screen to, to show for his video, uh, that's what it was like. And this game is pretty old. It's like four years old. I think it came out in 2016. Uh, so they must have released a patch that fixed it, because I didn't even notice that. But there's still all those other, like, timing-based issues and everything. So, all of this to say that um, the game definitely has its issues, and uh, y it there is just a lot of... I don't remember where to click. Yeah. There's just a lot of stuff that um, that 
they, it's it's a little sloppy, is what I'm saying. But they've definitely patched things with like the Simulacra games. There's a lot of improvements. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna get to the end of this because what I really want to do is um is is show you the alternate ending where you choose faith. It's pretty similar, but I think I think it's interesting. So we'll get there. Hey, speaking of faith, hello. We're going to uh, condemn you to death later. Or no, actually, we did that already. We're gonna save you. Faith, you're good. All right, bye everyone. Oh, this video, by the way, I wasn't wearing headphones because I wasn't prepared to jump back into this. This video, which I said that I had seen before, I had seen before. It's very famous. Um, not really much to say about it, but it's got, like, the Nightmind video says it has, like, 60 million views or something. It's a very famous, like, just creepy video. I don't remember where it's from. I think it's just an art piece. But it is something that I have seen before. So there. I, I'm sure people were screaming. Uh, well, not just because it's scary, but because... um. Because it's it's a famous video that I hadn't remembered, but did remember. Anyway, James, get out of there. By the way, if you uh, do not send the link, I don't think there is any difference. Like, I just sent the link to Derek again, because I hate that guy. But uh, Irizu, he, he says that if... James threw Irizu... Irizu threw James, rather. He says you have two minutes. If you just sit here and wait, like I... I did once uh it really just kind of does the exact same thing he kills james anyway and then it, it just progresses so i don't think there's any reason to do it uh and there's no fallout from the Derek thing either it's just uh it's just like a moral choice that has no consequences in the text of the game obviously in real life that would be a thing but there's there's no reason to do it or not do it it doesn't make the timer go away any faster i think you still have to wait two minutes i wonder what would happen if you'd sent it to everybody in your contact list i don't know because if you talk to James and you pretend to be Sarah, uh, Irizu will reference that. Will say like, um, oh, here we go. Irizu will say like, uh, uh, so you pretended to be Sarah or whatever, and you have to be like, I just wanted him to trust me. So it's it's interesting. There are there are definitely things that you can do that make differences later on, and maybe I just don't. I haven't checked out every tree of text, but um, that's really all it is. So we'll get back to this. This is interesting. You didn't offer James much of a choice. Trust me, he made his choices long ago. He has a lot of information about these witches, this coven, this Wahlburger snatch or whatever, but I uh, I don't know what the story with James is. He tells me a lot. He, I think, also is, like, studying this stuff. Um, so it, it there's a lot to read into, I think, about him maybe being a part of these or or former member of them or something or having some history with these people but i don't know all of it because there it just doesn't go into all of it i wish that i wish that you could maybe you can maybe that information is hidden somewhere you just have to like go really digging for it uh which that'd be cool but i don't know uh so maybe somebody else can maybe somebody else can like dive in and, and find all that stuff out Okay, so here we go. We are going to say... So, we choose the person who dies. So, I'm going to say Sarah. Sarah dies. Faith lives. Iris is going to be mad at me. Um, I think the idea is... If Iris and Arizu are the same person... And this is Sarah, by the way. She's... Uh, if, if, if they are the same person, I think they want you to choose Faith. Uh, and both of them, I think Arizu does kind of want that. Or maybe it doesn't matter. I don't really know. It doesn't make... I, I I can't really put my graspy fingers around it, uh, whatever it is. But either way, Iris is mad at me or pretends to be so. So the deed is done. Welcome, my child. I knew you were special. One such as you surely deserves to know the secrets of life. Why did you chose Sarah? Uh, I felt that somehow she deserved it more. Okay, that seems ill-conceived. Okay, it matters not. Well, then why did you freaking ask me, man? Go to these coordinates. Boom. I got locked out of this once because I didn't realize that you had to uh, hold down that thing and, and scan the coordinates. So I was trying to, like, go back, but it wasn't working. It was, like, locking me out. Okay, here we go. And then, and then, whatever. Oh, right, right, right. See, why not Faith? You shall pay for this. See, this line makes sense with when it, Iris is like, hey, too bad you won't make it much further. Can't enjoy, I can't say I didn't enjoy our little talks, but I didn't enjoy them. Makes a lot more sense if you made it mad but i didn't it was good but i hope this exit is joyful and i hope never to return i don't understand why it gets so goofy at the end so like why does it get so goofy in the end i don't get it but here we go and that's the end of the game it's gonna 
redirect me out. So, very weird, like, oh, okay, see ya. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I will see you soon for more exciting stuff. Listen, um, tonight is a new series starting, well, I shouldn't say that because it isn't, it's literally not. It is an old series that is coming back. It is, in fact, Stardew Valley. We have recorded more episodes of it. I'm really excited. They're great episodes. I have such a good time recording those. That's a chill good time. This has been Nightmarish and Horrific. And speaking of Nightmarish and Horrific, the next show, the next series that I'm doing starts tomorrow. My next main series, you know. It's another horror game. It's called My Beautiful Paper Smile. If you've heard about this game, I think... So, it's older, but I... Think I don't know. It came out some on something. I think it was just released on Steam recently. Either way, it's in early access. Apparently, I've already recorded them because again, I've done this separately. Uh, very scary game. Very disturbing. Very creepy. I I'm having such a blast with it. So please go check that out. Very excited for it. Um, other than that, though, I don't think there's any other news. Hmm. Nope. Guys, thanks for watching. Tune in tomorrow for. Uh, my beautiful paper smile, it is creepy, and if you like this game, you'll probably like that. Uh, I'm gonna go back, by the way, to Simulacra 1 again, because I want to get some of those other endings. There were four of them, I got one, and so that's gonna be fun. This episode pretty much timed out to about the same as, as it was the first time, I think, which is interesting. Oh well. Alright, well, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye, everybody.